Hey, this is Kev with Blender Binge. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to finally interactively change your object origin or pivot point in Blender 2.81. So check it out. This video is in addition to this video up here where I went into Blender 2.8 and showed you how to change the object origin or pivot point of any object. And there was like a whole song and dance and I kind of made it easier for you. But this is way cooler. So check this out. Blender 2.81 now has this options thing up here. So if I hit options and I go to this little origins tab and I check that, okay, watch this. I now have this like little three prong thing over here. Now I can go to the move tool and I can move it anywhere I want. And if I go and I turn it off again, and then I turn on Eevee for you because it's pretty, right? And I go to the rotate tool, watch this. Now I'm rotating around that place. Very, very cool, very interactive but you don't want to have to go up here to options all the time and do that. So a quick way to do this is you can map it. You can map this origins thing to your own hotkey, like, I don't know, insert like every other program, or you could just right click, say, add to quick favorites. And now if you just hit Q, you can turn it on and off from wherever you are. So now it's on and I can like, I don't want to rotate that, move it back wherever I am and uh, hit Q, turn it off. And there you go. So now you're, you're back and you're rotating from wherever you want. Now this also works with snapping tools, right? So if you turn on snapping, you have a whole bunch of cool things here. Like you have vertex, right? So you can snap to vertex. Let me turn that back on. And now you can snap to vertex and you can snap to any vertex of any object in their scene. That's really interesting, right? You also have uh, edge. So if you're along an edge here and you're sliding along any edge, it'll slide along the edge closest to your mouse while you're holding it down or any other edge, okay? There is also edge center, which is really cool. And I'm not going to go through every one of these, obviously, but these are, this is really fun. So it snaps right to the edge center. I get a lot of questions on how you would do this. Here's a really easy way to do it. Okay. And you also have, um, you can say align rotation to target. This aligns your object rotation to whatever target. I generally leave this off, but you can start getting these really interesting like rotations. So if you're, if you're really good at rigging and you know what you're doing, this is really good for you. Other than that, I just kind of leave it, leave this off for me, but certain instances you'd use that. So what do you do with this? Well, a really quick thing you can do is if you wanted to like say rig these boxes together and have them kind of move from here and parent them all together, you could just really quickly, okay, turn on your transform origins, snapping. I'll choose like edge center. Okay. And I'll just move this here. I'll go here, move this one here. I'll go here, move this one here. And now I turn it off. And now if I parent, right? I select this. I hold down shift. I select this. I hit control P object. Same thing here, here, control P. I'll just choose object. Now, if you go and you start rotating, you're going to rotate from there, right? So I'm rotating here. I'm rotating here. And there you go. So now you have this really nice little tool that you can really quickly go ahead and uh, start changing your pivot points and rigging and moving things around and, and you, it gives you a lot of freedom and it's really fast. And if you mess up and you, you don't want your pivot point there anymore, right? I'll just hit control Z a few times, get back here. You don't want your pivot point here. You can just go back here, use the old tools like object, set origin, and then just go like origin to center of mass or, or origin of geometry. And it snaps back to where it came from. Okay. So I know this is a really fast video, really quick. Uh, I'll probably still get like uh, 11 thumbs down from the people who are just like, that's like, technically not accurate. And I hate you because you, your voice sucks or whatever. Uh, that's fine. So hopefully you got something out of this video. If you did, definitely hit like, subscribe, share it. I don't know. Go adopt a cat and name it Blender Binge. No, I'm just kidding. And I will see you in the next video.